Arizona sues General Motors, Michelin invests in its airless tire, and one man in China shows off his parallel parking skills. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for November 21st, 2014. Volkswagen is on a quest to become the largest automaker in the world before the decade is over, and it's putting its money where its mouth is. The company announced it's investing $106 billion over the next five years in new models, technologies, and manufacturing plants. And that number doesn't include its operations in China. VW plans to spend another $27 billion in that market over four years to develop new models and build new plants. General Motors has been slapped with a number of lawsuits over its ignition switch issues, but now Arizona is joining in. Earlier this week, the state's attorney general filed the suit, which accuses the company of putting motorists in danger and covering up the defect. The state is seeking around $3 billion, or $10,000, per every defective vehicle it's sold in Arizona. If the state does win the case, the money wouldn't go to the car owners. Instead, it would go to the state and could be used for funding. You know, it was about 10 years ago that Michelin first debuted its airless tire and flexible wheel combination called the Tweel. And just last month, it announced a partnership with John Deere that will see the Tweel on a series of lawnmower. Michelin plans to invest $50 million at a plant in South Carolina to produce the Tweel that it claims the tread will last three times longer when compared to the standard turf tire. And the company's chairman and president in North America says one day we may even see the Tweel used on passenger cars. But for now, they're just going to be used in low-speed applications. Still to come, Acura updates the ILX and George Costanza has some competition and parallel parking. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. It wasn't that long ago that Acura introduced its all-new TLX, and now the automaker is showing off the redesigned 2016 ILX. The front bumper has been massaged with larger lower fascia openings that give it a more aggressive look and all models will now adopt the Jewel Eye LED front headlamps that we've seen on the RLX and TLX. The 2.0-liter engine is going bye-bye, and it will now be powered across the lineup by the 2.4-liter engine mated to a new 8-speed DCT with a torque converter. The 2016 ILX will be available in six different grades compared to the three before. So as you would expect, it gets more premium materials and the latest technologies in infotainment and collision avoidance. Look for the 2016 ILX to be hitting dealerships early next year. And would you like to go to next year's show in Geneva? Well, the folks from the North American International Auto Show, Bose, and Delta are providing that chance. Just head to the website listed below for a chance to win two tickets to the Geneva show next March which also includes three nights lodging and airfare. Bose will also award 25 other prizes. Winners will be chosen on January 26th of next year. And speaking of auto shows, make sure you check out our coverage of the LA Auto Show. Just head on over to our website or YouTube channel for a look at the cars revealed at the show and our interviews with top executives. You know, as much as he would like to brag about his parallel parking skills, I don't think even George Costanza could have fit into this spot. With just eight centimeters or a little over three inches of extra space to fit a car into, Han Yue set the Guinness Book record for the tightest parallel parking spot at the China Drift Championship. You know, I've seen parking videos like this before, but obviously nothing that tight. And for some reason, I'm just not surprised to see that Red Bull was somehow involved. Coming up next, are safety systems really helping to prevent accidents, or are some just gimmicks? Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. 
Today's cars are loaded up with a multitude of safety systems, but are they really helping to prevent accidents? That's one of the topics on AutoLine this week because our guest is Jake Fisher, the head of auto testing at Consumer Reports. In the following clip, Jake shares his opinion on which systems are worthwhile and which ones aren't that necessary. You know, it, it's a shakeout going on right now. So, I mean, at one level, a lot of these things are kind of gizmos that differentiate. It's like, look at all the things, look at all the buttons I have and all the lights. But some of them really are life savings, some are gimmicks. Okay, and, so what's your, give, put, put, well, the journey, give us your categories, your list. The journey still out on most of them, I will say, but in terms of forward collision and forward collision warning, that's a slam dunk. I that agree, is a totally. safety Especially item. Especially with braking. When you combine Especially it with braking, not just the warning, but slam on the brakes absolutely, for Absolutely, absolutely. That is a feature that's really going to save lives. Um, now, the lane departure warnings, for instance, I mean, if you're driving with them, it's just kind of like annoying you until you shut it off. Don't know how many bills that's going to save. Um, Honda with their, their camera that's in the dashboard. So instead of a side view, you don't look at the mirror, you have it here. Um, honestly, I find that pretty annoying. It kind of works if you have People love it. And well, it depends on where you are. If you're on a multi-lane highway, it works, but they could have went a little bit smarter. I go, I'm, I'm parked there at a light and it's showing me a trash can. I'm like, I, I don't need it now. So I mean, I think part of it is just how to perfect this, how to get the logic. So it understands I'm on a highway or if it understands that you know, I don't want to see the guy's mailbox. If you want to learn more about Consumer Reports auto tests and the results from its latest survey of infotainment systems, you can watch that entire show right now on our website. Or if you like, you can always download the transcript. We're offering a special discount all this month. If you tell us you heard about the transcript on AutoLine Daily, you'll get 50% off the normal price of $1.99. Just click the AutoLine Archives link on AutoLine.tv to see our full list of available shows. That wraps up this week. John will be back in the anchor chair on Monday. Go out, have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.